In about an hour and a half, the State Board of Elections will reconsider requests to add three more presidential candidates to the November election ballot. Down the ticket, the decision could affect major candidates' chances to win the state. WRL NC Capital Chief Laura Leslie is live at the Legislative Building with a preview of that meeting coming up. Laura. Jeff, you know, North Carolina election law makes it really hard for an independent presidential candidate to get on the ballot. The bar to get a president, to get a political party onto the ballot is much lower. And that's uh, what they can do is they get ballot access and then they put their candidate on it. Well, that's what the State Board of Elections is weighing. They have to decide in the next few weeks whether three parties have cleared that bar. Those three parties seeking to put presidential candidates on the ballot are the We the People Party with anti-vaccine activist Robert F. Kennedy Jr., the Justice for all party with philosopher Cornel West and the Constitution Party with anti-abortion activist Randall Terry. The State Board of Elections considered all these parties' petitions two weeks ago. The State Board staff confirmed that each one had the required signatures, but the board did not vote to approve any of the three, saying that they needed more time to investigate how the signatures were gathered. Republicans pushed back, accusing the Democratic majority on the elections board of trying to protect President Biden by denying other candidates who might take votes away from him. Presidential pres re recent presidential elections in North Carolina, rather, have been very, very close. In an unusual step, congressional Republican leaders asked the state elections board to provide documents explaining their decision, and Republicans here at the legislature ordered board leaders to answer questions before the state House Oversight Committee. Uh, that meeting was actually scheduled for this morning, but it was rescheduled after the election board called another meeting this afternoon to revisit that issue. And by the way, our WRL News poll that we did this spring found that 55 percent of voters wanted another choice on the ballot this November besides President, former President Trump and President Biden. Laura Leslie, WRAL News, Raleigh. A controversial church in western North Carolina is hosting a campaign fundraiser today for Mark Robinson, who's running for governor. Leaders of the church called Word of Faith Fellowship have been accused of engaging in criminal behavior. This includes slave labor, financial fraud, and the sexual and physical abuse of children. Robinson has made speaking at churches a key part of his campaign for governor. His speeches have focused on his opposition to gay rights, abortion, and his support for traditional gender roles. Vice President Kamala Harris will be in North Carolina this week. She's expected to stop in Greensboro on Thursday for a campaign event. The vice president will also be making campaign stops in Las Vegas and Dallas this week. She's expected to be the keynote speaker at the Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated's annual convention in Dallas. She's also a member.